Josh here, uh, continuing the Building a House Guitars video series. And uh, this video is focusing on the fretboard and the just the uh, slotting and the binding of it. And so what you see, uh, this is my table saw here, uh, which I use for fret slotting. Uh, you see I have two fretboards. The one on the left of your screen is the Zuricotti. That's for the LG guitar that I'm featuring in these videos. I also have a Macassar uh, ebony board here for another guitar. Um, right now I slot fretboards on my table saw and it means I have to uh, set it up with a special fret slotting blade and so I, I always try and slot multiple boards if I'm working on a, a few guitars at a time so um, this is a, a ultra simple uh, fret slotting setup as far as table saws go and it's one of those things that uh, I do plan to upgrade. I've actually got a, another little table saw I picked up used, which I plan to turn into a dedicated fret slotting saw. But in the meantime, and what I've been using for the past few years is just my my regular table saw, and uh, have the miter miter gauge here with a little fence on it. And um, the way that this works is there is a there's an index pin you can see right there and another question that often comes up when building guitars is how do you get all those slots in the right place well uh, you see here I have a, a plexiglass template uh, with notches in it and those notches represent uh, the scale length and I have oh eight or ten of these templates each one has two scale lengths uh, everything from tenor instruments classical guitars right up to bassists and lots of standard guitar scale lengths in between. So um, this uh, particular ebony board will be 25.4, uh, just very uh, industry standard fretboard scale. And so it's a simple matter of um, just lining up the, the notch on the uh, plexiglass template with the indexing pin, running it through the saw, uh, bringing it back, moving it onto the next pin, and just working my way down the board until I get uh, all the slots that I want. And uh, I usually slot uh, 22 frets with my fingerboard extension, and that's what I'm doing on both of these fretboards. So I'm going to go ahead and set the depth uh, and make sure the the fence is cutting square, and then I'll I'll just show you the uh, the slotting of the board. Okay, so there you have the slotting of a fretboard. Um, I paused a couple times to, uh, it, as I was cutting it there, and the uh, first one was just to uh, double check again to make sure that it was cutting the slots uh, square, as it did when I checked it. And then uh, around the middle of the board there, I just, uh, I accidentally skipped a, uh, a notch, and uh, had to go back there and find it. So uh, 22, um, 22 frets and now if I uh, just pull the board off here and so there's a couple uh, couple test cuts near the end. This first slot here is actually the, the nut and so if I, uh, if I line this up on my template then each of the Oops, starting with the nut at the first slot. Then each of the slots I cut should line up in the exact same place um, with the template, which it does. So there's my 25.4 uh, inch Macassar board. Looks great. Uh, so uh, off camera, I'm now gonna slot the, uh, the Zuricotti LG board for this build and uh, 
Once I've slotted it, the next thing I'm just going to do is uh, draw a center line on it and then draw out the taper. Um, very slight difference in taper between these two guitars because they are slightly different scale lengths, but I'm going to draw out the taper, uh, cut that taper on, and then I'll talk about the, uh, the binding and show the binding of the fretboard. Okay, so I just finished slotting the fretboard and uh, here I am, I've now cut it to profile. Um, and I've uh, trimmed the end up for the fretboard extension. Uh, a lot of people ask me about the fretboard extension, how did I end up with that uh, particular shape. And it goes back several years to a local customer who um, ordered, uh, or, order, had a guitar on order and uh, wanted kind of a triangular theme in the bridge and the end of the fretboard and um, so this is the shape that he requested and a number of other uh, clients saw what I did on that particular guitar and uh, requested the, a similar fretboard extension on theirs and it got to the point that uh, so many people were asking for it I decided to just make it a standard feature so uh, the fretboard extension uh, like this you'll find on nearly all of my guitars and it brings the fretboard to 22 frets uh, for the final little bit of the extension so uh, here you see the binding is all laid out for the fretboard I glue these uh, small pieces on the end first and then go ahead and glue the longer pieces on the sides and once that's dry uh, then I'll clean it up and the uh, fretboard is finished uh, for this point Okay, so just wrapping up the video on the fretboard here, uh, you can see I pulled off the tape and I actually uh, took it to the belt sander and just gave it a quick clean up. But there you go, the bound uh, Zuricotti fretboard for the LG. And I will put it through the thickness sander um, to get it to the exact thickness I want before it goes on the neck, but as you see it right now it's, uh, it's very close. I'll clean up these little uh, bits of binding on the end there. Uh, get them all shaped nicely and rounded. So if you like this video, please check out uh, my YouTube channel to see the other videos in the Building a House Guitars video series. Uh, again, this is an LG model guitar being built for Paramount Guitars in Wisconsin. Uh, check out their website at ParamountGuitars.com. Uh, Ken Fox there has a, a nice selection of my instruments currently in stock. Thanks for watching.